Welcome to another episode of Beers with Peers. I'm your host, Yo Sandia. Today we have an exciting guest. He's a singer, songwriter, and the front man to the band Love Noka. You can catch his debut album anywhere you stream music. Please welcome my friend Willie. Shit, you know we're out here with the boys. Small world. Beers and peers. How are you doing, my friend? Way too good. I mean, shit gets struggling <laughs> sometimes, but we out here and you can't let that shit bring you down. If you out there, keep your head up. Shit. Let's just get into it. Um, I'm gonna smell this. You can notice our awkward glasses because somebody forgot glasses. <laughs> I forgot the glasses. And um, so I'm drinking it out of a milk jug and he's drinking it out of a mason jar, so. I was so, gonna say, we both gotta figure it out. But okay. Yeah, no, 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 we're gonna reveal and it. I got this Kurt. Remember when we were rubbing the Kurt? What do you got? I got. The Diamondbacks. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I got. All right. Cheers. Cheers. Shout out the voice in the back. She. Oh, I'm not gonna lie. That's Ooh. a sour. That has to be a sour. That has to be like some kind of IPA. Oh, I say hazy. I remember when I was serving, my would be like, "Do you got any hazy shell? Show us, bro." I mean, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. You know what else is good? Your band. Your band love Noka. Hey man, uh, we dig your music, dude. You're you put that album out two years ago, and honestly, it's still a bop. It's still really great. Tell me a little bit about like the backstory of the name. Okay, so so I'm gonna go with the first band name when I was going off, and I'm gonna tell you how I got there. So like the first band name was like I don't know, my I was like fuck, I gotta have a name that something always calls me. You know, like any Mexicans out there, you know what I'm talking about. My parents and everybody would always say Mijo, so I was like, you know, the first name I decided to choose was Mr. Mijo. It's not as funny, but <laughs> at the time I thought that shit was a shit. I have a little song, I probably should drop it, but then I had this reverser. Like, you know when you say something and it reverses it? And then I was like, fuck, okay. And then I kept saying stupid ass shit, you know what I mean? And then all of a sudden I said Akon, and it was like, Noka. And when, and when I said it backwards, I was like, oh, dude, that's it, that's it. And it was just Noka. And then when we tried to upload shit to Spotify and like SoundCloud, there were so many Nokas. Shout out all the Nokas out there, you know what I mean? But like, there were so many and I was like, fuck, I gotta make a difference. And I was like, what could I add to it? And I was like, well shit, I love Akon. Love Noka. <laughs> <laughs> shit. Your, your band is dedicated to your love of Akon. Yes. Like, I remember you- um, Akon City, shout out Akon City. On your album, one thing you do that's kind of not, like it's kind of abnormal not to say like, for most bands is you have a nine minute song. All that glitters is not It's good. actually longer. Is it long as like 10 minutes? I'm gonna drop it actually. It's actually like 12, 13 yeah, two, minutes. Yeah, I remember you showed me the demo. Yeah, I clipped I, it so I, much. I remember you telling me like it's too long. But your song you did, fucking fantastic for being a nine minute song for that released version of it. So kind of tell me about that. What made you make it? One, obviously uh, the- Sorry, the, the, No, we have a burp cam. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, the name of the song is based off the Smash Mouth song. No, it's not. Is actually. it not? No, no. Is it not? Shout out Smash Mouth. They it go fucking hard. It has to be. Um, and shout out them. But no, it no, no. It has to not, be. What? No, no, no. It's actually SpongeBob. Like, I, I remember when, 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 remember, remember the spatula episode? Remember, you guys seen the spatula episode, right? When he has to like get rid of a spatula and he replaces it with the specula. I don't remember what that was called, that like the fancy ass spatula. And then all of a sudden, like he cries to the real spatula and it's like on a wheelchair and is leaving. And he's like, please. And he's like crying and he rolls like in his tears. And then all of a sudden he pops out of the screen. And he's like, all the glitters is not gold. And it wasn't based off SpongeBob, it was based off some poem. I don't know what poem it is. Shout out to the motherfucker that wrote that. But like, Dude, it was in stats what it actually was when SpongeBob said all that glitter is not, not gold. And every, you know, the whole thing, I'm like, yeah. I'm like, oh, he really likes Smash Mouth, I guess. Like, That's what that? everybody says, but you know, it's I ain't care. Shrek can get it. You Fiona's my babe, you know what I mean? Shout out to Queen Fiona. If she was real, if girls could be green. So tell me, it's kind of about the process of kind of making a nine minute song. Like, Dude, it was just going so hard. Like, they, like cause like it's, you your song is separated into basically three parts. Like it's not just one mm -hmm. container. Like you separate. Oh, you saw the three parts. I like that. You yeah, really it's, it's really a good song. Yeah, it's like three songs in one. Yeah, basically you start off with the kind of like a slower rhythm, and it builds up, and then the middle is that really like kind of heavy like guitar part, mostly more guitar driven, and of course the drums, and then the ending is of course kind of more of a a solo with your voice, but also you have each instrument eventually kind of fading out, ending with the bass. So what was kind of your idea behind that? Like, did you, cause you're- Dude, like, I don't mean to cut you off. No, you're good, go for it. Dude, okay, so like, I don't know, like when you make a banger, like you just can't stop riffing and freestyling, everything was just so good. And I was like, like every day I woke up and added something and it just was just like, fuck, like, 
if you notice all my songs have a similar similar progression they're just like key changes any of my musician players out there know what i'm talking about it's all like the same shit i just move the key and like switch a little chords here and there like four chord progressions and you, i know you play you know what i'm talking about but like yeah like what made the song like originally like like i said it's 12 minutes i will drop it because i feel like fuck that i paid for so much you should you don't even know that was like one of the hardest ones to record but like shout out matt you know what i'm saying yeah like so like the intro was freaking long it was like it's basically like the whole intro is a guitar solo i yeah. just took it off so like it goes straight to vocals so like if people don't have to go through that you know i'm trying to show off my voice and it's like the best <laughs> it's the best like like vocal track in my opinion like you know some of them were kind of like you know, like anybody that plays music, you know when you're like, you could have went harder. Cause like some of the, the tracks I had did like the next day and like you kind of, I always blow out my voice. I don't know what it is, but I always blow out my voice. Dude, so the, basically the first part of that song is like all guitar. You're gonna check it out. I'm gonna send it to you guys. So you guys get to give a sneak peek, you know what I mean? Shout out to the boys. So it's like a guitar part. And then there's like another, like, if you notice the guitar solos, like throughout every, every riff, you know, it's like three parts. The yeah. first part has a guitar solo in the beginning, but it was taken off. And then the middle has a guitar solo. And then the last part has a guitar solo. So the middle guitar solo is actually too fucking long. I was like, fuck. And then everybody was like telling me that everybody in the band, then the producer, the guy recording us, all that was just like, you know, shout out Matt again. Everybody was just like, bro, it's not a good idea. And I don't blame him. Cause like, who does fucking 12 minutes? It's not like we're like a psychedelic man. And they were just like, I don't know. And then I, I, I agreed after a while. I was like, yeah, that is fucking long. And then I don't know, you look at that, you, you see the plays on Spotify, like it has the most plays. Yeah, it's and true. I was like, mother. It's your biggest song, and for a good reason, honestly. It's, yeah, I gotta play that one. Like, it's your best song. I think it's the last one. It is your yeah, last yeah, one. Yeah, I made it last two for a reason. And it's, um, you could say your longest song, and obviously, to me, it's your best song, and it's shown, like, like you said, the amount of plays. Yeah, yeah, I think the same thing. Yeah, and hey, like, you think it's I, the best? I, like, yeah, you're going high, That's what I said. Everybody was like, I remember you mm. showing me the demo. Well, I personally like long songs. I love a long build up. You got song. patience. Some of them are out there. You listen, mm. like, you're a casual, like two minute songs, three minute songs. They could be good, but sometimes certain songs you just want more of. Like you take a two minute song and it's like that, mm -hmm. like, it's that shortness and it's sweet, but you're like, I really want the song to be longer. Like, Dude, I wish this song was fucking long. I hope it's in my fucking like hard drive and everything. Oh my God. Worst case scenario, I can message that guy, but like, you know how Dropbox has like a, like a, like an expired yeah. date? Whew. So I don't it out, so, man. But I, I have it. I have it. It might not be the best quality, but I'm gonna put it out there. And just then so even like, your, um, I was listening to your album the other day, and mm -hmm. even your intro was really is really cool because how you start off your intro and you kind of lead to dude your that second intro song so much to go from intro to the you can't breathe, which was your first single you dropped for the band. Um, I remember when that came out, I was like, this is a really, I was like, this is a really good song. I can't wait for the album to come out. And then when the whole album came out, I'm like, fuck, he's doing great shit. Mm -hmm. How did you come up with the intro? Because I knew you used like a countdown for like a NASA. Like, yeah. Okay. So. So the original song, it's actually fast paced and I slowed it down. And, you know, I got dumb by the time I got mentioned no names, but I got dumb and I was like, fuck. And so I was just bumping that shit, keeping myself like, like just, I just like slowed it down and it hit so hard. Like exactly what you hear the intro slow down. And to me, I was just like, like I just had it playing. It was like therapy. Like sometimes you make a good riff or like there's some of those riffs that just calm you down. And then that same night, shout out Alpha the Omega, shout out Omar Vega. He died that night at five o'clock. And I was doing that during that time. And then at the time we have like a rap group, shout out the kids from space, TKSF, all my boys out there. To me, that was like, that was what that was. Yeah. Shout out to a kid from space. Cause that's what he was, the kids from space. I was like, he was a like part of our crew. I mean, I wasn't there in the crew at the time as much going hard, but I was always in every song they were in, every song he was in, I was typically in the background, like, you know what I mean? Like doing that, like, yeah. Like I would even freestyle with him. And he always freestyled and never once told me like, like, I was insane. I don't know. I never hopped on a track with him, and I will. I'm gonna fucking bring one of his songs back and do a little bar. Cause, hey, bro, I got that shit on my pinky. It's pretty shitty. You can't see it. ATL. Shout out for the Omega. But like, it's fucking that that little that intro man. right there is him going to heaven. And like, I was listening to that man. Hey, I like, I, I met him a couple times, and he was really hey, cool. And I know he was a good friend of yours, dude. Like, like I had like no time to think about my ex. I dropped everything and said all of this goes to my homie. And like, it was a life lesson. Like, let's read that. Man. Shout out the homie. That was what that intro is. I'm gonna chug this shit for this food, hold on. Fuck it. <sighs> Take care of your friends, man. I'll never be afraid of telling them they doing too much because that shit, people be like, ooh, bro, you killing the vibe, but then they, they literally get killed and it's like, oh, I killed the vibe. You, the motherfucker's dead. Like, I wish I could bring him back. Any motherfucker out there doing perks, bro, give give your life to him because that's some bullshit. Like, not even just perks, lean, all that shit. It's funny to rap about. I rap, I cap everything. I rap like this, all this shit coming out next. 
is all cap. I don't mean everything I rap. <clears throat> I'm not about it, but that's just fun. Get out of here. I'm turning up and I'm whipping this shit and I'm flipping the bricks and I'm building. You know what I mean? I can rap about that shit forever. I'll freestyle later, but no. No, you're good. <laughs> I had to just give out an example. Like, look how easy that is. I'll give you another one. Like, you know what I mean? I'm turning up. I'm smoking a blunt. I'm getting fucked up. You know that I stay up. I said up too many times. And then I quit and twisted and flipping the chicken. I'm picking the dick. No, I'm sorry. I said dick. Ah, oh, damn. I don't know. It's for YouTube. YouTube, please forgive us, my boys. I can rap on anything. Send me your beats. Like, I'm just telling send anybody. Him, send him your beats. I got a year. Rap. You can rap. All right, let's, uh, let's check out this beer with this. What beer was this? I said IPA. No, no, wait, hold on. I know what beer. Let me guess what IPA is. It's a fucking. It's a. F- this is a sour. It's IPA, but I, let me. That's it's a like, sour. It's that. It's that fucking. You're not gonna guess it. Eight oh seven. Eight oh seven. Go. Uh, that's, not, that's my guess. Not even close. Hell no, it's not even close. To it. <laughs> it is a sour. Uh, it's a. It's mango. Mango nada. Oh. Uh, Damn. It's a, it's a sour. Five point six alcohol. Sixteen um, ounces. And yeah, out of a. Uh, one to ten, what do you rate this? Would you drink this again? Yes. You drink it again. What do you rate it on a one to ten? Fuck, bro. We were just drinking mango beers before this. I too. feel like whenever I say a ten, you know, the beer can get it, but like <laughs> the beer and the lady, ah, I just like do. <laughs> I, I, I honestly, it's, it? it's a it's a seven. Like it's a pretty good beer. I don't know about a seven. That was like it's pretty yummy. Is it made in Mexico? I have no fun. <laughs> I no nah, I just, I'm just trying to make it's sure. Hey, a, it's in Tucson, Arizona. Hey, it's a local beer. AZ. It's a local beer. We're in AZ, so already. So um, that's pretty tasty. <laughs> Apparently, we have beers and bowls now. <laughs> They're not beers and beers. Hey, beers and bowls. Check it out. We got the Maru Chan. You know what I'm saying? The rhyme, and we gonna slurp this hoe. <laughs> Shout out, you know what I mean? Shout out, my ladies. I'm not trying to say hoe, but this drink a hoe. Like, look at it. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, you can bleep it, right? <laughs> I, I don't even know. Shout out this bleep, you know what I mean? Like, I don't even know what to say about this, hey. dude. Like, do we cheers to this? Hey, like, shout, out, shout out Goku. We got to drink it like Goku. I fucking know this IPA. You guys play too much. Oof. This is pretty good. Hell no, it's not. <laughs> Went out of town my ass. <laughs> This is like a one or two. I like uh, You don't like this? Really? This is like you're just licking the orange peel. <laughs> like, just, uh, like eat, you know, I'm trying to eat the inside of the orange, not the peel. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Doesn't it just say you're like just you just like, the orange? You're just like, you just like, uh, yeah, you just bit the peel. Like it's like you just ripped the peel off and just ate the peel. I fucking ate it. <laughs> <laughs> like, hey, hey, my, you guys. <laughs> hey, my voice ain't really this low usually, but like, she is. So. You put out your album in 2019. You released a single, I believe, in 2020, I believe. Mm-hmm. And then you haven't kind of, you've been kind of in, more silent about your music recently. Mm-hmm. I know you're going through good personal things, of course, mm-hmm. and um, obviously pandemic, you know, et cetera, mm-hmm. et cetera, has kind of put some toll on, you know, creating things. But tell me about your personal like hiatus. Of I mean, haters, that's it. Like the haters got to me, bro. Like I, I, all I heard, you know, like I, I like to reference SpongeBob when he's like tripping out and you hear all the, all the people are repeating it. I heard all the haters like. You're not like dark enough to sing Mexican songs. Like, you know, you're not this and that to be able to rap and then this and that. And it just fucking made me feel sad. And I was like, why even bother? Like, so I, you took a, obviously a hiatus from your band, but you also took a hiatus. Well, from it was a hiatus and became kind of a done deal from your previous band, Captain Samurai. So you were a bassist for the band Captain Samurai, which kind of started becoming a lot of bigger in the local scene. You guys opened up for the band The Garden. You guys were performing lots of shows, things like that. You guys put out two um, two albums, and then I think you just had an EP before you joined the band. So tell me something more about that. Captain Samurai, like you know, they went through like I'm not gonna say the whole thing, but they had like a bunch of ba- like about like two bases. Yeah, they people went through just, some. They went through some bad. Yeah, things, and but. it was never nothing like against people. Just did their own thing. Yeah, and they then, kind of trailed mm-hmm. off, and then they ended up with. Three Diego, years. it was technically Diego, his brother. So yeah, like, his brother Amador board. was with his brother. And it's just like a family thing. Nobody hates each other, but it's just like, nobody's trying to make a man with their brother. Some people are down, but this is like, no hate against each other. But like, Diego is an amazing ass player. And he's, he's, he's a really good guitar. He can't play something simple. So he was like, ripping like, he was like the lead bassist. And I'm like, bro, there's no lead bassist. Shout out Diego, but like, he's a beast. Go check out his shit, Diego Maximiliano, he's a beast. But he was like leading the whole way. And I was like, bro, like, you're the bass. Like, it's not like lead bass. So his brother, like, he had the right to kind of be like, yo, like, you know, but that's like when someone's talented, you see it right then and there when the motherfucker can't even just like, He's so talented. That's my boy. Like, that's my teacher, by the way. Again, shout out Diego. But like, 
his brother was just like, hey, Will, you want to try something? And then I was just like, yeah. Then all of a sudden he heard me jamming because like at the time I had moved in with him and he heard me jamming and he had asked me, he's like, hey, like he heard me play a song, which is what ended up being I don't care and he had me play it. And he was just like, like, dude, I really like that. Would you like to put in the song? And then from there, like Captain Samurai gave me the best opportunity ever. Like yeah, they, I let me put that on there. One of the songs is actually you playing and singing because most of them is the singer Amador at the time. Yeah, yeah that's was, my boy. Yeah. yeah, he was playing and singing. Obviously, he was the guitarist. And then on, I think it was the first album, you, mm -hmm. you put a song out that was, it was your song. Like that was technically like yeah my song and he allowed me like yeah, big yeah. Summit, or he allowed me was, yeah, i would he, never have got the cloud yeah he yeah, yeah the cloud exactly he let yeah. me do that so but it was, but it was you like you the one that like this was your song and he let you put it in the album yeah because this was more of his collective of a band mm -hmm. and then it became one of the band's biggest songs actually because of just like people loved like your voice in it and then, yeah, yeah yeah it did get a lot like a lot of like like and like, it was cool like, because it, it showed when people make articles technically i did get a lot of articles yeah it showed, like, yeah it showed like you as a potential but like you know being a front man and I've always seen you as a frontman since I've known you. You've always been like that, mm -hmm. like that have that energy as someone that has a great stage performance. Like we took choir together, by the way. Yeah, yeah, we go, we go back. If you don't we know, my dad went and back hell hard. You were performing by yourself and you were just like, yeah, that man's a frontman. That, that guy has that presence hey. of a frontman. Let's finish our bowls. Yeah, yeah, Let's dude. finish these bowls. <laughs> you guys ain't gonna drink? It's okay. No, no they, they turn it up. I forget you guys edit this shit. Hey, you know what I'm saying? Like, I honestly think we could have done this shit live. You know what I mean? Like, no, you guys are real. Like, you guys no. are real. Like, doing this live would be horrible. Hey, Finish your fucking bowl. Hey, wait, hold on. Shout out, shout out to Bowl. I don't know what company. <laughs> shout out to company. You know what I'm saying? They ain't got a no, 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 don't fucking don't. don't they don't got a name. It's just the bowl. Shout out bowls. You know what I'm saying? Shout out bowls. Shout out souls. Shout out coals. You know what I'm saying? Like, shout oh, out fuck coals. Oh damn! Well, damn. Okay, shout out Coles. They got the jeans, but if they ain't got the jeans to meet me, like <laughs> fill up my spleen inside of my jeans. Nah, I'm just like I'm freestyling at this point. <laughs> Dude, this isn't my voice, by the way. I never sound this low. So like, next interview, my voice will now sound like this. But I ain't a little foo foo. You know what I mean? We call them foo foos where I'm from. I ain't scared. I'm gonna do this shit. Okay, next question. Finish your beer. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hey, shout out the I know this is IPA, you can't hide it, bro. Just fucking finish I, you the can't beer. hide it, bro. This is a fucking hazy ass, hazy beer. <laughs> Alright. Verga. Fuck. Here. Wait, 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 wait. This came out of here. Hold on. Right, no, no, well, let's worry about that later. We'll worry about that later. No, 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 no. That, <laughs> no, 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 that no, shit no. disrespectful. Hold on, hold on. Yeah. Not you, but like that shit leaving it on the floor. Hold on. Love no good lamb thing. Hold on, hold on. Look at that shit. Fucking. Yeah. Mm, didn't sell no CDs, but he has it, you know what I mean? Hey, man. <laughs> you, you the Am beer. I going to reveal it? Yeah, reveal the beer. That's oh, all shit. you. Okay. <laughs> you get all nervous? <laughs> it's like fucking Joe and Rodeo. I didn't get nervous until you told me to reveal it. I'm like... Okay. Here we go. Here we go. It is an IPA. <laughs> Honestly, hold on. Let me pronounce that shit. Don't tell me how to pronounce oh, it. God. Oh, God. The shoots. <laughs> it's called The Shoots. IP. I knew <laughs> you guys what, love it. What's the percentage? All right, don't tell me where to look at it. I know. 6.5. 6.5. That wow. shit ain't shit, bro. Like, I could drink like 10 All right, of these. so what do you rate it? What do you rate it? What do you rate it? This was fucking horrible. <laughs> it tasted like you just drink. you're licking a peel of orange. I I'm give honest. it a 3 out of 10. There's no way I would drink Honestly, it. I'll drink same, it, but. Same as the last one, a 7. I think it's fucking good. No, nah, the last one was sour and like yummy. Yeah, this but I like, like both. I like both. This man. one was harsh and like bitter and like. <laughs> Twitter. I'm just gonna answer it. I don't know what that means, but uh, I don't know what to say to you, man. Okay. Anyways, well, we revealed that one. <laughs> ten years later, here we are. <laughs> Literally ten years. Yeah, don't you think it's crazy? Damn! Shout out Small World. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Shout, shout out Small World. The Bulls. The Bulls. Shout out the Bulls. Shout the out Bulls, Juan, David, Bulls. Santiago. The Follow Bulls. them. I can't do this, bro. It's nasty as hell. <laughs> I'm gonna drink it all right now. Watch. Mark my words, but this shit is ass, bro. It's not this that is like, bad, dude. Shut the hell up, what, bro. You, what, You're lying, is bro. Is the beer in the fucking thing? Dear God, bro. Dear this is God. why. This, this shit is, is this ass. This is why we don't drink behind the scenes. I want to say it's a kill lifter. I'm gonna keep it. It's running. not a fucking kill lifter. If they chose a kill, lifter, I don't drink beer like that, but this tastes like a kill lifter. So, what is your drink of choice? Like, if you go to a bar, what do you order? 
uh, cranberry vodka, but I don't think it's bomb. You know what's funniest thing? I was like, maybe I should bring some vodka and cranberry. I literally thought that. No, that's like what I go for because cranberry keeps you hydrated. You ever have a gin, gin like a fucking... You, you, I hate tonic, bro. You don't like gin? I No, I hate tonic. Oh, you don't like tonic? That just straight up tastes like the lime. You ever have, you have a Tom Collins? That's no. my favorite mixed drink. Like tonic tastes like you're just licking the lime, not lemon, but the green like lime. You're just licking the peel. Like somebody just take the peel off and, and blended it. Like, like if I had to choose a drink, this is the Willie drink. I'm gonna keep it 100. People could jack my idea, but this is my idea. I just straight up get Firebond or Chata from like Filiberto's or any or any any branch. You know what I mean? Really? That's I swear drink? to God, that's it's it. Fireball or Chata. It doesn't matter. I don't make a mixed drink. I take a shot of Fireball and then I chase it down with any horchata. It doesn't matter. And I swear to God, but good yeah, good yeah. luck. Good luck if you decide to do this outside because it's this dangerous. Is, this is Willie's drink of choice. It's, this is called the Willie. You're a performer, dude. Like I like I said before, like you're uh, you're the front man, and like I've always seen you as someone that's a really good sage presence. So like, I know that some people like drink before their stage, but like. Have, do you have any tips for people that are like are gonna go on stage for the first time? Yeah, you've like, been doing it for a good minute. Where have you? Yeah, like, yeah, of course. I remember the first time you performed on stage. Um, when it was it was a talent show. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, wait, wait, wait! What talent show? This, yeah, this is good. A, hey, a, a, a this is Patreon, but this is some Patreon shit right you here. You performed at a high school Patreon. talent show, and I remember like you. I, th- I don't know what you were doing. I think you were the bassist or guitarist, dude. And I remember that. And it was like the first thing we formed. You, you went to that? Yeah, I was hey, there. Bro, I, so dude, there I've been, hey, bro. This motherfucker right here. I been, Were you there? Like, dude, I've been hey, there. Hey, this is the, like. I've supported you the whole way. And I remember. The, I want to cry, but like, I've been like, crying first, so hard. Like, like damn. And then I remember the first like concert you ever played. No one ever says this shit. Like, you don't even. This is the first <laughs> time I'm talking about this. Like, you don't even know, like, hey, <laughs> Patreon shit. If you don't use it for Patreon, it's okay. But like, then I remember, this is a Patreon shit. Motherfuckers, you listen. Like, this is Patreon shit. Even like Shout one of your first there. shows, like, is like you, I remember you dressed as Luigi. And you were dressed as Luigi. Uh, and you, dude, you were there. <laughs> you were there. It was, it was, it was a, just me and my boy. And it was a Halloween my show. It was a Halloween show. I rem- so I remember for the fact that we were, I was in one of my friends, his dad's car. I'm not going to say his name. No, no, it's okay. We won't no, use no, names, no, no, because you're the, keeping it 100. So like, the fact, so the yeah, no no it's okay nothing so, against no, no, no. I see what he's so I remember his dad was like I'll take you guys to the concert I'll drive you guys there whatever because it was like somewhere else and then he was like the whole time we were going he drank like two forties <laughs> like Wait, your so like, or no his dad it wasn't my it was, it was like your my, homie's dad yeah it was, it was, I bleep this it was <laughs> dad hey this is Patreon shit no we don't know who was but he, you know who you are. Um, his dad took us and he drank like two forties on the way, and I'm like, what the <laughs> fuck, dude? I, he I stopped, never heard of this till now. He Patreon to get shit. 40s. He we're just over here like, all right, we're going to the concert, and we got there, and I was wearing like, like I think I was wearing like face makeup, dude. And we go, and it was I don't know whose house it was. It was uh, your friend's house. I don't want to say the name. I know exactly who and it is. Go, like I said. And you're <laughs> performing a live show. It's your first like big show ever. What did you think of it? It was I don't remember. <laughs> it was insane. And playing the drums. Yeah, like you I'm, were you were yes. the guitarist. You were in a Luigi costume. It was me basses. Yeah, you were the basses. And, drums. and I, your hair was super long. I remember, and it was like so. Like cheers to you, my friend. Hey, but like. Cheers to you. I kind of got to pee just because like, we've been drinking a lot, guys. Like, <laughs> let, me, let me pee real quick. But, like, dude, that, that kind of, I mean, like, I'm glad you kept it 100. Like, honestly, like, because sometimes, you, like, you hear the haters and you're like, maybe it's not that good. But to hear you appreciate it because I honestly, truly think it went hard. I don't care what the haters say. It went hard. But, like, I let them get to me. And to, for you to say that, you deserve every live performance I ever make. Like, you deserve it. Like, not only that, like. Thank you for like, even if like the live performance doesn't happen, I truly like want, you deserve it. Like I've never dropped these songs, but I'm going to give you one of my songs that's never been dropped before. There we and go. Small World deserves it all the way, guys. Hell like, yeah. Man. This guy's been here all the way. We can't wait to hear your song from whatever demo you have, whatever master you have. It will drop with you guys first, whether it's my shit, but I, you guys had at least, like I said, hopefully, I mean, I'm not the best person in the world, but like, you know, uh, hopefully someone cares, but like, I would prefer the views to go to you guys. No, we thank didn't. you for like uh, believing in me, and you guys deserve it. Like, like I said, I mean, I'm not the best person, but they say a thousand views, maybe half a thousand. But like, 
I don't care. You guys deserve every single bit. No, Thank dude, we want to, of course, fucking sponsor the guy that is doing what he wants to do. No, but you believe. Like, you, you no, know, you're not more than no. You know, you say you first got faded out of my house. Like, <laughs> I did. I'm telling no, you, bro. Like, I, you know, like, I never person, lied. I, I kept it behind it. As a fucking production, we believe in you. That's why you're on the show, because we believe in you as an artist. Yeah. We believe in you as an artist. We know you're going to do great. Cheers to you, man. Cheers no, to you. No, cheers. Shout out to all the guys in the back. Shout out Juan and David. Shout, shout out, out to Santiago. our cameraman. Shout out to our director. Shout out to our editor. You shout can't miss out on these guys. If you want to get interviewed, please at least in, like, let them you see your to... stuff. Please check it out because this is no joke. Small World will make you feel better. Beers with Peers is the next wave. Please follow them. Make sure to like share their shit because this is no joke. Like, as much as he knows me from high school, I, even if you never met him before, this is 100, and 100 is the only way. Thank you so much, for, honestly. Thank you. Let's, like, let's fucking kill these fucking bulls. This, I'm going to kill this shit, but I got to be. Let's kill but this bulls. is for the video. Shout out, Small World. <laughs> hey. That was definitely an IPA. Let's reveal the beer. I know it's the IPA. I swear to God, if it's not IPA, I'm gonna be pissed. I don't know what the fuck this is. The sixth glass quadruple. Can I hold it when you're done? Yeah, it's 10.2 percent. <laughs> it's not IPA. I don't know. It is an IPA. It's insane. It's an ale. It's oh just my. an ale. Isn't an IPA Indian Pale Ale? Yeah. Ale. Oh, let me see. Let me see. Hold on. What do you? Honestly, 10.2. Yeah, 10.2. <laughs> Fuck you guys. Again, dude, last, like two episodes ago, they gave me a 12 point something or 12 point, and it fucking sucks. So here we go again. Wait, 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 wait. So, like, does Santiago only drink this? He doesn't, like, drink it with No, them. they don't drink it. They don't drink it. It's only me. It's no only hate me. on the guys behind the camera. Like I said, they're all dope, but, like, you guys really don't drink this? No, they don't. <laughs> This is some bullshit. Like, <laughs> all right, this shit is like nasty. Like, there's no, no way. Like, so shout out do, the whole small world so group. So what this they shit do? No, nasty. no. What they, what they do is they go. They go. They look mm -hmm. at beers. They're like, this is it, and they just drink it. They don't try it. They pick it, and they hope. And we're a, we don't have a budget. And they pick it, and they're like, this is gonna be it. And that's it. And they pick Dude, it. like honestly, I love this. Like, I might like try to twist into my own ideas, but like honestly, these guys got it going. Follow them, every single one of them. Juan, David, Santiago, follow my IG. Even if you don't, like I said, everybody's Instagram is on there. Don't play with me. These guys are real. But no less, no more. It's 100 and that's the only way. Honestly, thank you for being on the show. It's been a fucking blast to having the show. I fucking love having you in the show. I'm glad we finally got you in the show. Like I said, we've been wanting you on the show since fucking ever. And I know you took a hiatus, but you're coming back. You're finally making, you're in the progress of making new, new music. It's whether, gonna be crazy. Whatever, whatever genre you're making, whether it's indie, mm -hmm. rap, rock, whatever genre you're making, you're fucking exploring them. But thank you for having you on the show. Of course. Um, follow Love Noka on Spotify, Apple Music, whatever. For 20, what is it, Love Nugget for 20? I don't know what I have on IG, I forgot. On Instagram, his Instagram, <laughs> whatever fucking shrimp platform you can find his music on, you can find it. Thank you guys, thank you for joining us and being on the show. And hey. we'll see you guys next time, thank you guys. Hey, for real though, like don't play with us. Like, this is it, like, please believe in this. And if I don't, if you don't believe in it, Believe in me that believes in small world. This is the small world. I can't change this at all. This is to you guys. This is from Willie to you guys. If I ever, like I said, somehow the world is bullshit, but if you ever die, please know <laughs> that small world kept in 100, no matter what. Thank you. We'll see you guys next time. Have a good Thank day. The mics lived. Thank you guys for believing in me, even though I don't believe in myself, but I believe in you that believes in me.